Hey, my name is William Jones SEO and in today's video what we're going to be covering is Google My Business ads. That's right, Google My Business ads. My name's William Jones and we're going to be covering Google My Business ads. You might be thinking, well, I thought you do SEO Bill or William, why are you going to be doing Google My Business ads? Well, there's a couple of things. A lot of people think, well, once you do SEO, once you're ranked, you're not going to have to ever do ads. That may be the case for some people. They may go, hey, I don't ever want to do ads again. But generally speaking, what you want is you want to get ranked, okay? So you're not having to pay for ads and you're pulling in that traffic. And then I also want to start generating money. Why? So I can outspend my competition. Uh, one of the things I remember hearing one of my mentors say before is basically he who has the deepest pockets or he that could spend more will never lose. So what we want to do is be able to spend more than our competition. And one of the ways you do this is with Google My Business ads. We can also do this with Google guaranteed ads. Okay. And then I want to show you what the difference is between all of them. Okay, and we're going to go over all that today. So let's show you what a Google guaranteed ad usually is. And we'll show you a little bit of all of it. But essentially, let's show you Google guarantee. Let's go for roofer. Orlando so these are going to be your Google if you will your regular Google ads right up here right everybody knows what organic is it's all down here right and then you got ads down here as well back in the day ads used to run over here all right um, sometimes you'll see the Google guaranteed ads which will pop up in here right in maps if they're not in there, and then we try, let's say, plumber. Different categories will have them. Other categories won't have them. Uh, let's go Havoc. And then we'll show you a couple of different instances where you got different types of ads. Ads down here. See, this guy doesn't even have a regular website. He just has a Google business site, right? And let's go Google Guaranteed, right? And with Google Guaranteed, you have to actually qualify to use it, right? You can't just use it, right? Google Guaranteed ads, you have to have different factors, um, your reviews, let's say housekeeping in Jacksonville, Florida right your ads um and we'll go down here so we haven't got no organic ads here um let's just try this so nothing here let's go over here so we got ads here right um, we got the ads popping up in the maps and then we got the local google ads which i've went over before right and how does it work? What does it look like? Um, if you ever wanted to actually get started with Google Ads, you just come to ads.google.com, click Get Started, and then you're going to sign up, check your eligibility, um, what state you're in, what's the job category. Let's choose carpet cleaning, just for an example. Let's go Alabama. Let's go, let me, actually, uh, what's the Alabama zip code? Just on the fly, we're going to do this, so 35242. So let's go 35242, right? Let's go check if this category is even eligible. Because not all categories are actually eligible. All right, and they'll take you to the next page. Yes, sure, it's eligible, all right? You want to go ahead and get started. Helps you appear in the top SERP results. You only pay for actual real leads with a local ad. 
Um, I had one client, we were in the roofing niche, for example, running Google ads, and we were spending close to $20,000 a month. And with Google Guaranteed, we literally sliced it down to about $8,000 a month. And we were able to get higher quality leads and, of course, cheaper leads, which helps everybody. You just click Get Started. You're going to enter in your business information, registration, phone number, all this, right? This helps get you qualified. You're setting up your service area. What are your service types, business hours, and previewing your ad? There's another really cool tool I wanted to show everybody. It's called SpyFu. All right, this helps you ethically, if you will, steal your competitors' um, you know, traffic. Just wanted to show you kind of this. But SpyFu, one of the really cool things about SpyFu. So let's take, for example, if it was a roofing company in Orlando, right? Just use that one again. And we want to see maybe Atlanta instead of Orlando. So we got these ads up here, right? And we want to find out what type of ads. You could actually do this with Facebook ads as well, which is really cool. Um, we started that a few years back. But you type in your competitor, and it's going to show you how many organic keywords it has, how many paid keywords it has, what's the monthly revenue or monthly pay-per-click ads, what's their estimated Google ads budget, um, you can even go so far as it will actually show you some of the pay-per-click ads that they're running, right? It shows you the fact they were how much they were actually spending and um, everything back throughout the months. And when did they stop? Okay. And it will also show you some useful paid keywords running your Google My Business ads, and it will also show you some of their current ads, okay? How much are they paying per click? What's the coverage, okay? All this is really good information for when you go over to Google My Business ads and go to create your own listings. So one of the things you're going to find out is, for example, when you're looking at ads, the longer the ad has been running, the more likely that that ad has been successful. So when you go over to, let's just take, and this is, you know, this is Facebook is a little bit different, but when you take Facebook and you go to a pages, let's go, you know, to let's say roofer, Atlanta, just out of curiosity, right? And we go to this, maybe it's my competition, right? And I scroll down and scroll down and scroll down. I go to page transparency and I hit see all. And if I go to the ads library, it will show me if they've been running ads, right? I don't want to see in the Philippines, obviously, but that's where I'm at. But just put all. And it will show you if they've been running any ads whatsoever. Okay. And if it was if they were running ads, it'd be really cool. Because then I could go, okay, these people are running ads. Therefore, maybe I need to run ads. And then I can also see what type of ads they're running. So let's go all ads and let's type in the refer, right? Let's go to this one you see and you see this ad and it's been running since July so that tells me it's probably a very successful ad so what you're wanting to look at is ads that have actually been running longer they are more successful if it just started let's say the ads from September but they have another ad that's running all the way back from January February July that tells me it's probably a lot more successful than some other ads. So what I'll do with that as well is I'll take this same information 
the same copy and I will edit the copy obviously use similar images similar landing pages and I'll send my traffic that way and we'll do the same thing that's just why we use SpyFu to look at Google Ads and then to get our Google guaranteed ads and our regular Google ads set up. I hope this video today was very informative regarding Google My Business ads and running them on Google My Business, as well as doing it as well on Facebook. Okay, just because you're doing SEO does not mean you should not be running ads. In fact, it's the exact opposite. It should make you be able to afford and be bringing in enough revenue so you can run ads. And here's why. So, for example, if I was a roofer um, in Atlanta, wouldn't it be better to appear up here, in here, and in an organic? So now I'm taking up three spots instead of one spot. So you got to understand the more digital real estate I can take up, on Google the better for my business so it means my ads or my business gets to the opportunity to be able to be seen not just once but maybe twice or maybe three times so the more opportunities I get to be seen the better once again my name is William Jones and today we cover Google my business ads the tools I use were simply Google search spy foo and then Facebook ads library to cover Facebook ads as well. Hope this video was informative and if you have any questions just make sure to drop them in the comments below and I'll make videos about this as well. Any questions you ever have I'll make videos on. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video. You guys have a great day and be blessed.